Hello guys, so Sir Eman here. Our topic for today will be your basic structure ng inyong C++ and kung paano gamitin ang C in and ang C out. So this is the basic environment of Dev C++. So dito nyo pita type yung inyong mga code and then these are your menus. Gusto ko lang point out dito po sa part na ito, kailangan po nating iset Yan. So, kailangan kilala niya po yung inyong operating system. For you to be able to know kung ano ang inyong specs ng inyong operating system, you press sa inyong keyboard ang inyong window key plus your pause break. So, lalabas po ito. Then, may makikita kayo system type. So, kung ano po yung nakalagay dito, kailangan po parehas sila ng bit. Another way of showing up your system configuration is punta po kayo sa inyong Microsoft Explorer and then you go to your this PC or minsan ang nakalagay po dyan ay yung my computer. Right click nyo yan, then properties. So, lalabas po yung inyong system specifications. Okay? So, close natin yan. This one is your line comment. If you want to make a block comment, pwede nyo pong gawin ay slash asterisk and then your comment. So, for example, name and then your course and then you can now close your block comment. So, these comments, hindi po siya binabasa ng inyong code. Okay? So, tanggalin muna natin yung pansamantala. Okay? So, for blank spaces, like atong line 2, line 4, and line 9, hindi rin po yan binabasa ng ating compiler. Okay? So, disregarded po yung mga parts na yan. And then, this one, line 3, this is your library. Anything sa inyong code, starting with a hashtag or a sharp symbol, ito po yun yung library. So, include iostream. We use this code for the C++ functions. Okay, and then ito po sa int main, this int main, ito po yung pinaka main function ng ating C++ program. Sa lahat po ng C++ code, ito po ang unang tinitignan ni compiler. Si int main, ito po ang ginagamit nating pangalan at wala na pong ibang pangalan si int main kundi main lang. Dito po kasi sa C++, we can make other functions and yung other functions na yun kahit saan natin siya pwedeng ilagay but with all the libraries ng C++ program ang unang-una niyang hahanapin kapag nag-run tayo ng isang program ay yung main function so that's why we have this main function for line 6 and 8 these are close and open braces ito sinas sinasabi natin dito kung saan mag-uumpisa si main function and kung saan din siya mag-e-end no? so pag wala yung mga yan mag -e error po yung inyong code okay so kailangan may partner pa may close and open later on magkakaroon tayo ng marami pang close and open curly braces okay so now let's try to execute this file by pressing execute and then run compile if this is your first time to run the code merong lalabas na save as window okay so at this point sa akin nakapag save na ako as test.cpp make sure na .cpp yung inyong file okay so run and compile tayo or we can press f11 sa ating keyboard yan so hello world okay so this is your first output so let's try adding another line Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And then, palitan natin to ng This is a C++ program. And then, F11. Yan. So, kung makikita nyo, dire-diretso lang siya. Wala siyang space. Ang gusto kong mangyari is, eto, this is a C++ program. Ang gusto ko is, ilagay natin siya sa ilalim ni Hello World. So, parang next line. So, ang gagawin natin, so, kung gusto natin ibaba si this is a C++ program, ang gagawin natin ay maglalagay tayo ng slash n. Okay, so meaning this, this tells the code to skip and proceed with the new line. No? So, this is a escape sequence slash n. Ang escape sequence nito ang ginagawa niya ay mag new new line lang siya. Okay, so let's try to run. Yan, so hello world and then this is a C++ program. Okay. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin, tatanggalin natin tong part na ito. ito. So ang gagawin natin, maglalagay tayo ng isang standard line or uh, nakaugali yung linya. So using namespace st d or standard, then semicolon. Then tatanggalin na po natin itong std colon colon. 
so we don't have to keep on repeating typing std colon colon okay, so dahil yun dito and pwede na rin pong mag work yung in replacement nitong slash and pwede po natin gamitin na yung ent okay, so let's try kung mag work na po siya f11 yan so same output po no yung slash n tsaka endl uh, mag, mag new line lang po siya this is end line pong see out this is a function for displaying na kung ano man po yung nakalagay dito okay so this is an output stream okay so now let's try to make a new code na kung saan hihingi tayo ngayon ng user user input so magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng input stream so ilagay na natin na uh, include gawa tayo ng comment po natin Let's begin with a hashtag to I stream. So, kailangan memorize yan ito. No? Then, now, at this point, lagay din tayo na string. Then, we will be using the getLine function ano, and that will come from the string library. And then, kapag mag-accept ka kasi ng string, we will be using the variable string. So, dito to po nakalagay yun string string.h and then using namespace std or standard para hindi na tayo mag std colon colon and then we will now make our main function close open curly braces then we will declare a string variable so, dito natin ilalagay yung string natin so this is your variable and then ano yung mga kailangan natin or yung uh, paglalagyan natin ng data color na lang color favorite color ng user at saka favorite singer ng user let's also ask the user ng kanyang favorite number so integer yun Ayan. so you may check or review yung ating mga lesson regarding variables so int age okay so we will now prompt the user hingin natin yung kanya what is your favorite color pagkatapos kukunin na natin ngayon yung hingin na lang tayo ng input no? so pwede namang si in then input stream tapos yung color yan so the problem with this one kapag nag space na siya or nag space bar ay uh, yung first string lang ang kukunin niya so for example uh, blue green kuno rin blue green ang nilagay niya pero nagkaroon siya ng ang nilagay niya ay instead na blue green ang ginawa niya ay blue green so so may space so pag ganitong ganito ang coding nyo ang tatanggapin lang niya is yung buong blue green or yung blue lang so hindi niya hindi kasama yung space pag terminate na agad and then mag error na okay so ang gagawin natin para makuha natin yung buong input ng, ng user ay kukunin natin yung buong line so we will use the get line command and then lagay tayo ng C in ito yung input string natin and then color and then semicolon then next kunin natin ngayon yung favorite singer so what is or who is your favorite singer so ganun din ano uh, kapag kukuha tayo ng string na multiple uh, strings meaning may mga spaces in between them so ang gagamitin natin ay yung get line so favorite singer ngayon dadalhin natin siya sa variable na singer and then uh, let's prompt the user again see out what is your favorite number Ayan. instead na get line kasi hindi naman ito string or hindi na natin nire-require na marami siyang uh, set of strings so gawin natin is see 
Ayan, pag single uh, string lang, pwede naman tong si in lang na ano, wala ng get line. Okay, C in, and then yung input string, and then yung variable no. Ah, uh, sorry, hindi pala h number. Malita natin. Favorite number, it's not h number. Okay. So now, let's test. Ano, test natin muna yung uh, lagay rin pala tayo ng return 0 dito. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay itetest natin yung, yung program kung pasok yung mga CIN natin. So, to do that, ang gagawin natin ay isi-see out natin si color, singer, at saka si number. Okay, so, see out ang put stream, see out si color, see out natin si singer, see out natin si number. Okay, so, let's try. Let's say yung code mo. So, now let's see Uh, save as natin to so, press natin F11 save as natin siya as C out C in so bahala kayo dun sa ano no bahala na kayo kung anong trip nyo dun sa uh, file name no? as long as you save it as .cpp so sa color natin so hindi pa maganda yung ating layout so pansamantala so red red green no kung nori lang Then, singer natin is... Uh, sino ang favorite singer natin? Okay, manual lang ilan ko tayo. Ayan, so merong space, ano? May space. Press enter. And then, favorite number natin is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After this point, ang nangyari na dyan, ito na, si C out na, no? So, kung titignan natin, eto, what is your favorite color? Eto siya output and then get line natin kunin natin si red green pasok siya dyan sa sing sa ice ako dito pala sa color then who is your favorite singer ito ito na yun and then nagsiit tayo ng singer yan na yun ang dagyan so papasok na yun siya dyan then what is your favorite number and then see in so babasahin niya yan ito yung see in dito magsisee in siya dyan then number and then see out Ayan, so ito na siya, red, green Ayan, output singer Then output 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 So ngayon, gagawin natin Aayusin na natin siya Okay? So pwede isang C out lang ito So ang gagawin natin, ilalagay natin siya Into a sentence Tapos ayusin natin ito So, lagay tayo ito So, semicolon Para medyo maayos-ayos ng konti Semicolon And then, magsi-see out tayo. See out. Ito kung paano gawin yung isang see out lang. Parang isang sentence lang siya. Output muna tayo ng string. See out. Your favorite color is. Yan. And then, space. And then, i-out natin si. Output stream natin si. Color. Tapos, another string. So, space. Space ulit. And your favorite singer is space ka ulit dyan and then next line na tayo no, para oh, sige pahabain na lang natin ito But, parang isang derecho lang din naman yan eh. so mag madi-differentiate lang ni C++ kung yan, dito na mag e-end yung command mo or dito siya mag-umpisa yan yung end ng inyong program so parang isang derecho ang sentence lang din talaga yan ngayon dito tuloy natin Your favorite color is color and your favorite singer is then output natin si output stream natin ulit si singer and then another string period tayo doon period and then space the number you like most is reset tuloy na natin dito sa baba enter na tayo dyan. isang ka na lang yan tuloy tuloy lang yan Just for readability for pag printer tayo. The number you like most is, and then, may output tayo ulit ng isang variable. Nagyan tayo space yan para magbuka siya maganda. Is, then yung variable number. Then, another string for the period. And then, let's end this command with a semicolon. Okay, so check natin kung tatakbo. Okay, F11. Yan, so, mas, mas okay nang tignan yan. So, what is your favorite color? Let's try blue-green. 
cream. Mag magkadikit naman talaga to, blue green ganyan. I'm just trying to show na pwede tayong tumanggap ng may space. Kasi kung yung regular C in na string lang yan, blue lang ang babasahin niya. Hindi niya nababasahin yung green. Magdeterminate na siya dito sa may space. So enter. Now what is your favorite singer? For example, pangalan. Hindi naman ang marunong bumanta. What is your favorite number? So, mag-expect tayo na isang buong sentence yung lalabas kasi that's, that's what we program. And so, your favorite color is blue, green, and your favorite singer is period. The number you like most is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So, gusto nyo kopyahin itong code, you just post this video. So, ito yung, ito yung kabuuang code natin. Okay, so pwede mong i-post for you to be able to copy. So, kailangan itindihin lang yung mga lines na yan, ano, kung ano yung ibig sabihin. So, i-replay mo na lang itong video na ito for you to be able to understand. Uh, maraming salamat guys. So, I hope that you have learned something. Kindly like itong video na ito. Share na rin doon sa mga gusto matuto. And then, also please subscribe para malaman nyo yung mga susunod nating mga videos. Thank you.